Rhodinone is an odorless, colorless, crystalline isoflavone used as a broad-spectrum insecticide, piscicide, and pesticide. It occurs naturally in the seeds and stems of several plants, such as the jicama vine plant, and the roots of several members of Fabaceae. It was the first described member of the family of chemical compounds known as rhodinoids. Discovery the earliest record of the now-known rhodinone containing plants used for killing leaf-eating caterpillars was in 1848, and for centuries, the same plants were used to poison fish. The active chemical component was first isolated in 1895 by a French botanist, Emmanuel Geoffroy, who called it nicoline, from a specimen of Robinia nicu, now called Loncocarpus nicu, while traveling in French Guiana. He wrote about this research in his thesis, published posthumously in 1895 after his death from a parasitic disease. In 1902 Japanese chemist Nagai Nagayoshi isolated a pure crystalline compound from Darius elliptica which he called rhodinone, after the Japanese name of the plant, rhodin. By 1930, nicoline and rhodinone were established to be chemically the same. Uses Rhodinone is used as a pesticide, insecticide, and as a non-selective piscicide, fish killer. It is commercialized as cubae, tuba, or daris, in single preparation or in synergistic combination with other insecticides. In the United States and Canada, all uses of rhodinone except as a piscicide are being phased out. Rhodinone has historically been used by indigenous peoples to catch fish. Typically, rhodinone-containing plants in the Fabaceae family of legumes are crushed and introduced into a body of water, and as rhodinone interferes with cellular respiration, the affected fish rise to the surface in an attempt to gulp air, where they are more easily caught. Rhodinone has been used by government agencies to kill fish in rivers and lakes in the United States since 1952. Small scale sampling with rhodinone is used by fish researchers studying the biodiversity of marine fishes to collect cryptic, or hidden, fishes, which represent an important component of shoreline fish communities. Rhodinone is the most effective tool available because only small quantities are necessary. It has only minor and transient environmental side effects. Rhodinone is also used in powdered form to treat scabies and head lice on humans, and parasitic mites on chickens, livestock, and pet animals. Rhodinone has been used as an organic pesticide dust for gardens. Unselective in action, it kills potato beetles, cucumber beetles, flea beetles, cabbage worms, raspberry beetles, and asparagus beetles, as well as most other arthropods. It rapidly biodegrades under warm conditions, so harmful residues are minimal. A light dusting on the leaves of plants will control insects for several days. Mechanism of action Rhodinone works by interfering with the electron transport chain in mitochondria. It inhibits the transfer of electrons from iron-sulfur centers in complex I to ubiquinone. This interferes with NADH during the creation of usable cellular energy ATP. Complex I is unable to pass off its electron to coke, creating a backup of electrons within the mitochondrial matrix. Cellular oxygen is reduced to the radical, creating reactive oxygen species, which can damage DNA and other components of the mitochondria. Rhodinone also inhibits microtubule assembly. Presence in plants Rhodinone is produced by extraction from the roots and stems of several tropical and subtropical plant species, especially those belonging to the genera Loncocarpus and Darius. Some of the plants containing rhodinone Hori pea or goat's rue, Tephrosia virginiana, North America, Jicama, Pachyrisus erosus, North America. Cubae plant or landspot, Loncocarpus utilis, South America. The root extract is referred to as Cubae resin. Barbasco, Loncocarpus urusu, South America. The root extract is referred to as Cubae resin. Tuba plant, Darius elliptica, Southeast Asia and Southwest Pacific Islands. The root extract is referred to as Darius or Darius root. Jewel vine, Darius involuta, Southeast Asia and Southwest Pacific Islands. The root extract is referred to as Darius or Darius root. 
Common Mullen, Verbiscum thapsus L. According to Peterson Field Guides to Medicinal Plants and Herbs of Eastern and Central North America 2nd edition, p.130-131. Cork Bush, Mundulia sericea, Southern Africa Florida Fish Poison Tree, Pisidia piscipula, Southern Florida, Caribbean Several species of Miletia and Tephrosia in Southeast Asian regions. Toxicity Rhodonone is classified by the World Health Organization as moderately hazardous. It is mildly toxic to humans and other mammals, but extremely toxic to insects and aquatic life, including fish. This higher toxicity in fish and insects is because the lipophilic rhodonone is easily taken up through the gills or trachea, but not as easily through the skin or the gastrointestinal tract. Rhodonone is toxic to erythrocytes in vitro. The lowest lethal dose for a child is 143 mg per kilogram. Human deaths from rhodonone poisoning are rare because its irritating action causes vomiting. Deliberate ingestion of rhodonone can be fatal. The compound decomposes when exposed to sunlight and usually has an activity of six days in the environment. It oxidizes to rotenolone, which is about an order of magnitude less toxic than rhodonone. In water, the rate of decomposition depends upon several factors, including temperature, pH, water hardness and sunlight. The half-life in natural waters ranges from half a day at 24 degrees Celsius to 3.5 days at 0 degrees Celsius. Parkinson's disease in 2000, injecting rhodonone into rats was reported to cause the development of symptoms similar to those of Parkinson's disease PD. Rhodonone was continuously applied over a period of five weeks, mixed with DMSO and PEG to enhance tissue penetration, and injected into the jugular vein. The study does not directly suggest rhodonone exposure is responsible for PD in humans, but is consistent with the belief that chronic exposure to environmental toxins increases the likelihood of the disease. In addition, studies with primary cultures of rat neurons and microglia have shown low doses of rhodonone below 10 nm induce oxidative damage and death of dopaminergic neurons, and it is these neurons in the substantia nigra that die in Parkinson. S disease. Another study has also described toxic action of rhodonone at low concentrations 5 nm in dopaminergic neurons from acute rat brain slices. This toxicity was exacerbated by an additional cell stressor, elevated intracellular calcium concentration, adding support to the multiple hit hypothesis of dopaminergic neuron death. The neurotoxin MPTP had been known earlier to cause PD-like symptoms in humans and other primates, though not in rats, by interfering with complex I in the electron transport chain and killing dopaminergic neurons in the substantia nigra. However, further studies involving MPTP have failed to show development of Lewy bodies, a key component to PD pathology. Therefore, the mechanism behind MPTP as it relates to Parkinson's disease is not fully understood. Because of these developments, rhodonone was investigated as a possible Parkinson-causing agent. Both MPTP and rhodonone are lipophilic and can cross the blood-brain barrier. In 2010, a study was published detailing the progression of Parkinson's like symptoms in mice following chronic intragastric ingestion of low doses of rhodonone. The concentrations in the central nervous system were below detectable limits, yet still induced PD pathology. In 2011, a U.S. National Institutes of Health study showed a link between rhodonone use and Parkinson's disease in farm workers. Notable administrations Rhodonone was implemented in 2010 to kill an invasive goldfish population present in Man Lake, with the intention of not disrupting the lake's trout population. Rhodonone successfully achieved these aims, killing nearly 200,000 goldfish, and only three trout. Beginning May 1, 2006, Panguich Lake was treated with rhodonone, to potentially eradicate and control the invasive population of Utah chub, which were probably introduced accidentally by anglers who used them as live bait. The lake was restocked with 20,000 rainbow trout in 2006. As of 2016, the lake 
S fish population has recovered. In 2012 rhodonone was used to kill all remaining fish in Stormy Lake, Alaska, due to invasive pike destroying native species, which were reintroduced once the treatment was concluded. In 2014, rhodonone was used to kill all remaining fish in San Francisco's Mountain Lake, which is located in Mountain Lake Park, in order to rid it of invasive species introduced since the migration of European settlers to the region. Rhodonone is used in biomedical research to study oxygen consumption rate of cells usually in combination with Antimycin D, an electron transport chain complex 3 inhibitor. Deactivation Rhodonone can be deactivated in water with the use of potassium permanganate to lower toxicity back down to acceptable levels. See also Fenpropathrin NADH dehydrogenase References External links Rhodonone, Molecule of the Month at chm.bris.ac.uk Compendium of Pesticide Common Names at allenwood.net Cornell University. Rhodonone, Resource Guide for Organic and Disease Management Rhodonone. ARS Pesticide Properties Database Rhodonone use in research on the biodiversity of marine fishes Rhodonone Fact Sheet Rhodonone Registration at U.S. Environmental Protection Agency CDC, NIOSH Pocket Guide to Chemical Hazards Rhodonone at Bioblast Chemical Description